It looks a bit like a map of the stars, but scientists are actually tracking millions of cells in cancer tumours. We're really interested in these red cells. University of Queensland researchers have studied biopsies from almost 250 patients with non-small cell lung cancer, scrutinising each sample with the help of AI. What we wanted to find out were, were there patterns in the in the tissues that were predictive of um, response or resistance to immunotherapies. These patterns of where cells are located and how they communicate indicated whether individual patients would respond to a drug known as Keytruda. That's significant because it's expensive and severely toxic for some. The findings are a step toward more personalised cancer care. This work was done in lung cancer, but it's potentially applicable across another, a number of solid tumours where immunotherapies are being used. Eight years ago, Michael Itell was diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. He says the findings offer hope. It's incredible, you know, where I guess it's the beginning of understanding the world of tumours in lung cancer and in cancer. Advances in lung cancer research are sorely needed. It's the biggest cancer killer worldwide, including here in Australia, taking a huge toll on thousands of families each year. The Lung Foundation says the stigma of lung cancer, because of its association with smoking, is being eroded. There are researchers working on different parts of the lung cancer puzzle right across the world. So it is a time for optimism and hope. A clinical trial is in the works. The research has been published in the scientific journal Nature Genetics. Emma Pollard, ABC News, Brisbane.